you so much. We are going to actually ask a few of those questions right now, and I'm going to ask that question to our talent and our writer and producer. So the first question I have is from Julia Valenti, and this is to all of our guests on here. If you could create a brand new kind of Grisha, what power would you give them? Oh, that's a good question. Very good. Um, hi, Julia. I suppose I could create an entirely new kind of Grisha. I don't know what it would be. I can tell you that embarrassingly, I found my old notes and um, I had lots of types of Grisha that never got made. And one of them was an Arboralkai who, mm. who created trees and plants. So. I want to be a tree. Oh, nice. that one. That's Maybe that one. We need that. that one. <laughs> the planet, Grisha. The planet, the planet needs that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. The second question is from Kate Fielding, and that is, what has playing your character taught you? And I know there's a few characters here. If we just wanted to sum it up quickly, what has playing your character taught you? Never give up. That's what, that's what Mouse yeah. taught me. Just keep going. Even if you get shot, just brush it off and carry on. Shot, stab, beat yeah. up. <laughs> yeah, it was a long list, but just brush it off and carry on. Uh, on believe in yourself. It. That's what I've got. I love that. I've learned that cloaks are heavy. <laughs> <laughs> it was heavy. Yeah. All right. Our next question is from Ekaterina Pham, and the question is, if you could be any character from the Grishaverse that isn't your own, who and why? Mm. Really actually, you can actually live as they live. Or our lives now. <laughs> um, well, I would be... I would be Jesper because he has a lot of fun and I think we're quite similar. So I go for Jesper. <laughs> Jesper definitely has the most fun, but I think I'd be Milo because he's the most loved. Oh, <laughs> Milo is the goat for anyone who hasn't got that far. <laughs> he is the most loved. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. I've not really. I don't know. Kirigan lives in a nice palace, doesn't he? The Darkling. He's got a nice life. I could do a bit of that. The high life. <laughs> Terrible choice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Our next question is from Anna Carroll. If you could choose your own amplifier, what would you pick? Mm. Speedy next. Oh no, because then I'd have to kill her. question is from Lily Ward and that question is if you could wear anyone else's costume in the show whose would you want to wear? Hello? Hello. 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 <laughs> mm. Oh that's difficult well, well. costume? That's good. I think I look really good in Jesper's costume. Basically I'm just auditioning for Jesper. Is that alright Erin? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll look it now. I think I think I could do that. John <laughs> I, I, I would like to. I would like to to get into Kefka. 
Can Mal, yeah. can Mal have a Kefta? We get to do it again. <laughs> Please. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised no one said my Lena's dressing gown. It's so Lena's dressing gown. Okay. <laughs> All right. I have one more question from Prapti. What is your favorite part about seeing fans react to the show? I guess it makes it feel like it's actually real, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so long yeah, ago. It's, just... it's been nice knowing that what we worked so hard on for like six months half the year and then, and then in post-production as well everyone with the special effects and all of that jazz that it's being appreciated because yeah, yeah a, lot of, a lot of passion hard work went into that and uh yes yeah, it's nice that is yeah you go joy. away you go you go away like i said for, for six months of the year and it becomes our whole it becomes our whole life when we do this we become you know, as big fans as any of you, you know, while we read the books and we talk about it and we talk about it all day, every day. And then we know that when it drops, you can watch it in eight hours. And yeah. So, yeah. so the fact that we can hear that you that you love it and that it matters to you, that's that means so much to us. Very nice. Very mm -hmm. nice. Well, actually, we can ask one more question since we just got one in from Zoe. Ooh. How did you get into the mindset of the characters? Um, it's there, isn't it? In the page. For me, anyway. What are you saying, Arch? I, I went for a walk <laughs> on my own. I, I asked a cab driver in Budapest to take me about as far out and as sort of... It, it's it's about to be a tracker and find your way back. <laughs> yeah, I asked him to send my train to, like, you know, woods, a bit of woodland. And he, so he, I, I, Gary actually suggested a place. And it wasn't that secluded. Oh, that like there were quite happened? a few people there. But I found this like railway road that I crossed. It was I felt a bit like uh stand by me. It was a little bit like that. But I was on my own. It was just it was just me. <laughs> That's so funny. I forgot you did that. Yeah, that was before. for a dead body in that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well luckily I did I did get scared. Um, it started raining and then it got dark and I was like, I need to get back now. Taking it too far. Method, very method. It was the day that the cast got announced, actually, and I was like, "Right, I better get back before all this madness gets announced." Was it? And it was quite mad for a bit. Now, where am I? Totally not. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we are actually out of time with this group here, but got all our fans, we'd love you to stick around. We have some more surprises for you on the way. Uh, before we say goodbye to this group of cast, can we do a group photo with everybody? Is that cool? Yeah. yeah? Everybody like that? All right. So if you want, get your phone. Uh, we'll take a couple screenshots here as well. You can do that on your end. Um, I'll give a countdown of three, two, one, and then we'll do a cute little pose. All right? All right. Here we go. RT, I'm with you. Three, two, one. All right. Thank you guys so much. Fans, please oh, stick God. around. Bye. Talent, bye uh, bye. writers. Hi, guys. Bye, bye. Bye, guys. I love you, Ben. I love you, Ben. Thank you, TJ. Are you um, Hello. Jess, Archie, Ben, we're going to have you jump to the next one. Everybody else, just please just give me a second. Uh, we're going to get our next group in here, so just... We're going to mute you for now. Uh, please stay muted, and we've got some more surprises on the way for you. Thank you, everybody. Uh, we're also going to play a cool little video for you now. Bye, guys. Thanks, Bye. Ben. Let's get this. Wait, exclaimed Mal. What happens if Lucretia? What happens to us? 
the woman in red looked down at them. If by some small chance one of you is Grisha, then that lucky child will go to a special school where Grisha learned to use their talents. You will have the finest clothes. Finest food. Whatever your heart desires. Said the man in purple. Would, Would you, you like that? that? It is the greatest way that you may serve your kin, said Anna Kilia, still hovering by the door. That is very true, said the woman in red, pleased and willing to make peace. The boy and the girl glanced at each other and... Because the adults were not paying guys attention. They did not see the girl reach out and clasp the boy's hand or the look that passed between them. The Duke would have recognised that look. <sighs> the Duke? He had spent long years on the ravaged northern borders where the villages were constantly under siege and the peasants fought their battles with little aid from the king or anyone else. He had seen a woman, barefoot and unflinching in her doorway, face down in a row of bayonets. He knew the look of a man defending his home with nothing but a rock in his hand. All right, all right. I hope you all enjoyed that. Thank you so much for sticking around. Um, there are a lot of you here, and we appreciate it wherever you are in the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Um, oh, my God, who is who is this joining us right now? <laughs> yeah, that looks like Freddie to me. Hey, Freddie. You're on? Hello, hello. There we are. Oh, who else do we have hey, here? This hey, hey, hey. Hey. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we have Hi. a special guest Hello. with us. Hi. Hi. Hi, Freddie and Kit, we love you. Hi. Wow. Thank you again, TJ. Um, all right. We have so much love in this room right now. I don't know if our special guests can see all of these people. I see some signs here. Oh my God, I see some people taking photos. I see groups. I see a kitty cat on Gwen B's screen. Oh. I see you over there, Gwen. <laughs> All righty. Um, we, oh, it looks like our last guest has just joined us. So thank you everybody for sticking around. Um, please keep those questions coming in the chat. We see all of them. They are so great. Um, I'd love to introduce our next set of casts here. We have Freddie Carter. Hello. We have... Nice to see you guys. <laughs> Some of you, I'm scrolling of through. I'm scrolling through. I'm, I'm yeah. really enjoying all of your cosplay and <laughs> just saw someone with a Ketterdam University sweatshirt. That's cool. Oh. Wow. We also have oh, yeah. Nita Suman. Hi. Hi, Nita. Hi. We have uh, Mr. Kit Young. Hey, Dave. Nice to see you all. <laughs> we have Danielle Galligan. Hello, guys. How are you? You look unreal. Oh, I see someone with Nina and Matthias as their background. No, I just Alina. saw that too. Hello. You all look class. I think ready to be their boyfriend as well. Mistaken, guys. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, last but not least, we have Callahan Skogman. Hey, y'all. Hey, everyone. All right. We have a lot of excited fans here. They're all really, really happy to be here. We're all really happy to be here with you. Um, I do have some questions here that I would like to start asking our cast. Um, and you guys can kind of riff back and forth and answer these questions. So the first question is from Bridget Tuck. And the question is, who was the worst at keeping a straight face while shooting a scene? <laughs> That's a good question. Kit knows it wasn't himself. That's why he's laughing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because my yeah. entire job, that's a great question, Bridget, but my entire job for six months was keeping people, try, trying to make them lose their straight face. That was my whole job, trying to make these guys And succeeding, <laughs> for the most part, with, in, my, in my case. Yeah. <laughs> once, I start, once I started giggling, that was it. That was the whole day. Oh. <laughs> that was the whole day. Yeah. 
I, yeah, I, for that reason, I'm more likely to say Freddie, at least from my perspective, because um, because he really has to be serious. And so when he broke, it was like, ah, oh, we have to cut. We have to cut. <laughs> yeah. I could get away with it. You know so much. Okay. Our next question is from Vanessa. Uh, what is one fictional character from another universe that you would want your character to meet? Yeah, good one. It's my questions. Yeah. Captain America. Oh. Oh, I didn't even think yeah. about that. That's good. Yeah, they um, get on. They would get on. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I think Ant Man. <laughs> that is a good one. <laughs> Nina and Ant Man, I think, would be God's <laughs> I think if we're going with that star, I'd probably say um, the Black Widow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Is that everybody? <laughs> no, no, I think, uh, well, Freddie, you go. It's very hard. I'm, tr I'm, I'm struggling to think of a decent, I'm going to I'm trying to think of a superhero. But I can't. So someone else answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Freddie, um, Freddie, uh, Freddie, Freddie, I think you should meet um, Violet from a series of unfortunate events. Because she's real skinny oh, yeah, with perfect. inventions and stuff. You should, and her and Kaz should hook up. And quite like. Not, uh, hook up. Hook like, up. Uh, <laughs> she's a child. Like a, anyway, let's get on. The stick with the superhero theme, I've got, uh, Jesper's got to meet Deadpool. I think that's. Oh, I think that'll be loads of fun. Yeah. I think that'll be loads Very of good. fun. Um, let's meet a great movie. people who make mm. things. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they'd fight Netflix, over the Netflix, are you listening? <laughs> Material. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have actually pulled out of these hundreds and hundreds of questions in the chat right now. I found one that I really liked and I wanted to ask you all. So this one is from Evelyn. Uh, if you had to choose just one item to fight the Volkras, what would you choose? Kaz's cane, Inez's knives, or Jesper's guns? I mean, I, I mean, you all saw episode three, right? It's got to be the guns. You're going to run out of knives. Yeah. You can always get more bullets. Come on. I mean, yeah. I'm biased. But yeah, I mean, thanks. Thank, thank, yeah, I'm, I'm biased. But thank you. And also, um, apparently my knives don't penetrate the Volcro's uh, skin. So, useless. <laughs> you're, just not throwing, you're just not throwing hard enough, in my experience. Yeah. <laughs> Probably that too. <laughs> I would love to see though. I would love to see someone just with Kaz's cane in the fold, and that's their <laughs> only piece of protection. I just, I would watch that. It would be so dramatic. Oh yeah. <laughs> if anyone could get away with it, it would be Kaz. Though. Yeah, it would. Yeah. All right, so I actually have just been updated by the higher powers. We do need to cut this a little short, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Before we leave, though, I would love to do a group photo. Is everybody okay with that here? Yeah, yeah let's, let's do it. Thumbs up. Oh, my goodness, so many of you. All right, so what we're going to do here is make sure you can see the cast. Uh, not me, please. Don't look at me. And uh, <laughs> what we're going to do is I'm going to count down three, two, one, and we're going to do a cute little pose. Um, and then we're, we're going to take off for the day and let everybody enjoy their mornings, uh, noons, or nights. Um, so thank you so much to the cast for being here. I'm going to give a countdown, three, two, one, and uh, then we can go. All right? Is everybody ready? All right. I see those poses coming in, Anna. Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for being here today. We really appreciate it. Last no, minute goodbye. Thank you, guys. Bye, bye. Yeah, thank, <laughs> thank you so, so much. much. Coming, thank, thank you all so much for being it. here. Bye. Bye. You're amazing. Bye. See you. Cheers. Bye-bye.